Eduardo Campos. Today I'm going to talk about this sad news, which happened in the United States, of the truck that was found 50 dead inside the truck of this truck, stay until the end of the video, I will tell you the true story of this case. And whoever stays until the end of the video will receive a gift that is changing many people's lives and will change yours too. So leave your like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos. I want to count on your help I want a goal of 50 likes in this video. Truck with 50 dead migrants found in US. Bodies were stacked in the trunk of the vehicle found in the state of Texas. 16 people were rescued alive including four children. At least 50 migrants, 22 of them Mexicans, were found dead on Monday in and around an abandoned truck on the side of the road. In San Antonio, Texas, a tragedy that the White House described as terrible on Tuesday, 28. The discovery came five years after a fatal incident with similar characteristics in the same Texas town, which is just hours from the border with Mexico, it is a tremendous misfortune, so far there are 50 dead, 22 from Mexico, 7 from Guatemala, 2 from Honduras, and 19 still without information about their nationality. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador said at a press conference. On Twitter, the Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard shared this balance and stated that it is information from Texas provided by authorities, from the United States. The patients we saw were hot to the touch, they were suffering from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, as there was no evidence of water in the vehicle. Refrigerated truck, but there was no visible working air conditioning unit, described San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood. Authorities announced that three people were detained over the incident. We are closely following the absolutely terrible information from San Antonio, White House spokeswoman Karine Jean-Pierre said aboard the air. Force One on its way to the NATO summit in Madrid. Tonight we are facing a horrible human tragedy, lamented San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg at a news conference. So I ask everyone to think with compassion and pray for the dead, the wounded, the families, he said. And we hope that those responsible for putting these people in such inhumane conditions be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Pope Francis on Tuesday expressed his pain, for the tragedies with migrants, in reference to what happened in Texas, and the deaths of dozens of people. People last week, as they tried to enter the Spanish city of Malia. San Antonio, 250 kilometers from the border, is a major transit route for traffickers. The city suffers from a heat wave, which on Monday reached 39.5 degrees Celsius. The vehicle was found on a road near the I-35 highway, which runs directly to the Mexican border. A large emergency operation was mobilized with the presence of police, firefighters and ambulances. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus said authorities were alerted at 5.50 p.m. local time. An employee in one of the buildings behind me heard a cry for help, he said. He went out to investigate, found a container with the doors. Partially opened, he opened it to take a look and found several deceased individuals. The investigation was passed on to the Department of Homeland Security DHS, which announced in a statement the initiation of action against an alleged trafficking of people. Nearly 60 firefighters have been dispatched to the scene and are expected to receive psychological support, confirmed Charles Hood. We are not prepared to open a truck and see. Several bodies there, he explained. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican who advocates hardline migration, lashed out at President Joe Biden and blamed the deadly policies of open borders of the Democrat. These deaths are Biden's account, tweeted Abbott. His Democratic rival in the November election, Beto O'Rourke, called for urgent action after the incident. He called on the government to dismantle the networks of trafficking in persons and replacing them with expanded avenues for legal migration that reflect the country's values and needs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mexico, Marcelo Ebrard, lamented the tragedy. He said the victims' nationalities had not been determined, but 
that among the survivors are two Guatemalans. Trucks like the one found in San Antonio are a means of transportation widely used by migrants seeking to enter the United States. Travel is extremely dangerous, particularly as vehicles of this type often lack ventilation or cooling systems. The Lord have mercy.